down. That's why I bit through your thumbnail last week. Declared a goodness. Oh, it's How's good. your mama? Mama's good. You know, she's awful large this year. She's gained a lot of weight. Yes. She can't wear print dresses outside. People think she's Medina County. <laughs> you know, my sister Ella Louise is in that same shape. Oh. Her all her weight goes to her legs and her bosom. Oh Lord. And you know, honey, her bosoms go all the way around her backbone. Now. Oh. Wait, Mama, Mary, the I'm ashamed does. to say she's got her arms rest out on me and she looks for all the world like an old dominator hen flicks and sits just flying awful. out off her roof. Just awful. Well, you know, the crop dusters buzz Mama. <laughs> <laughs> they do. She comes home with DDT just all of Virgil, Virgil, don't feed that fruitcake to the cat. That's for the MYF. <laughs> don't feed the cat fruitcake. That's what stops it up. <laughs> You tell about that cat, talking about that cat there, Virgil. Oh. It reminds me, you remember, I don't know, guess you'll remember Wilford uh, uh, Sugar, he was. Mm -hmm. Youngest sugar boy. Mm -hmm. Remember that puppy he had, that dog he had? Do you remember old Leroy? And the famousest hunting dog in the oh, park? Oh. But you know, let me tell you something inspiring. When that old Leroy was born, he didn't have no left hind leg. Little old puppy about that long, you know, no left hind leg. And, uh, 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 everybody said, I drowned that puppy. He ain't gonna make no uh, God shot of blanks there. And, oh, it make, oh, it make uh, Wilford mad. He'd say, wait a minute, God don't shoot blanks. God had a purpose in leaving that dog's left hind leg off. And it's my Christian duty to find out what the purpose of God was in that. And you know, it's funny thing, people snicker at him behind his back, such as that, as old Leroy go loping wrong on three legs. Wilford Wright. Where did you ever stop to think of why Leroy had the best reputation any hunting dog in these parts? Got famous, always led the pack, always treed first. You know why, honey? God's will being done. See, God leaving that dog's left hind leg off that way, Leroy didn't have to slow down stop at bushes like most dogs. <laughs> Here, honey, I've seen old, they tell me, now I never seen it myself, but they said old Leroy going full steam ahead, just running, never slow down, go past the post and hit it dead center and just all that. <laughs> Vera, I'm so pleased that you've come down, honey. It's just wonderful to be here. You're just, you're just as beautiful as ever. Well, I just, I feel older and water, but I'm here. Well, honey, <laughs> you know it's so, so inspiring to have you. I just want, I've seen glasses like that, but they're almost always movie stars, so wearing them in here. You, but you could have been a movie star. Oh, honey, you, I've always said that child could have gone to Hollywood. That's right. But thank God you didn't. Oh. It's a cesspool of ugliness mm -hmm. and nastiness. Virgil, Virgil, you feed that cat. One more piece of that fruitcake, and I'm going to put you in that box and sell you at NYF. Stop it. <laughs> We're coming to this glorious and wonderful thing for John Henry Falk. You know that's the sweetest boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> I taught him in Sunday school. Did you? Yes, and you know the people said he didn't have much sense, and his mama was kind of worried about it, mm -hmm. I think, when he was little. But he know that. He knowed, uh, he had, he knowed the uh, alphabet all the way down to M and N before he was oh. ten years old. <laughs> oh, that's real important. Virgil's afraid of the garage door opener. We can't get anything. <laughs> Virgil, put that cat down, or you're going to Shriner. I mean it. You know, Mom, 
I've never had like cats. My mama hated cats. She always believed a cat could suck the breath right out of a baby. Mm -hmm. Well, you, I've heard that. Oh, oh, well, it's true. And, you know, we'd be sitting around having dinner, and Mama would come in and see us all picking our teeth, and she'd say, The cat's got the baby! <laughs> oh, Lord, it scared the hell out of me. I'd find that cat. <laughs> I'd find that cat, and I'd put it out. Of course, you know, we never had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> a baby. But it scared the living hellfire out of me. And I've never liked cats ever since. I don't like babies, either. <laughs> Bless your sweetheart, honey. Well, why don't we take a little walk here before the sun goes down? Well, and they not on that, but they got to have that thing for John Henry. Oh, fun. well, we got to get going. Well, then we'll just have a time. It's so sweet of you to come. I can't tell you how happy I've been with you. <laughs>